Supply. Supply dialogue objective statement with supplemental information exchange authorization form following process V38967.3. Ah, it's you, the humans. Mm. Recently, a bylaw enforcement vessel made contact with a Drenken designated target practice fleet and found that every member of said fleet had another ear taped to the top of their heads. The Drenken told us a story. A stupid, stupid story. Your name came up. As per the Consolidated Strive Ward Species Mockery Slash Interference Regulations, you are being provided one warning. Do not interfere with the activities of a Scribe Ward species again. Now then, what do you want? Alright. I require information. Welcome, returning Lev to visiting scholar. What information do you require? Tell us about the scribe. The scribe are everything. They are the light which shines. They are the path forward. They are the sword which pierces the veil of ignorance. They are sublime. He summarizes the scribe's history. The Scribe were blessed by the gods with intelligence and strength. They lived in harmony with the other beings of their world, turning the beasts to labor and the plants to crops. There were conflicts, yes, but every dispute was settled honorably, and lengthy wars were all but unheard of. Their history contains none of the pauses or dark ages that so many others do. It is no surprise that they were the first among all sentient beings to reach the stars. As far as we know. They were the first to reach the stars? Really? They were the first ones that mattered. Ah! There is evidence a species widely referred to as the Precursors were active in this galaxy approximately 200,000 years ago. But where the Scribe were strong and wise and attractive, the precursors were not. Preliminary analysis of precursor artifacts indicated they were large quadrupeds, likely covered in thick, unfashionable fur. Interesting. Their technology was advanced for a non scribe species, but clearly not advanced enough for them to claim the galaxy for their own. Yeah, it's not everyone's goal, right? It's the goal of anyone who gets remembered. Hmm. What happens to Recursors? Details of their ultimate fate are unknown. Further study of the Precursors was halted by the Research Safety Act of 8259 ME. Hmm. Passage of this act followed the discovery of Precursor technology that was pan-dimensional in nature. Technology which implied the Precursors, and possibly other beings, existed in multiple branches of one larger multiverse. wrong with that? The potential forces that could be unleashed by pan-dimensional research are immense. As the Scribe craves stability and prosperity for themselves and all their ward species, the risks posed by this research was considered too great to be pursued. What do the other universes look Some like? Some have speculated they would look a bit like this one, just lower resolution. There was also some speculation these parallel universes were connected to the Rainbow Worlds somehow. These are unusually mineral-rich worlds, colored in vibrant hues. No known natural process could make such a world. Some scribe archaeologists believed they were manifestations of a phenomena occurring at a higher or lower plane of reality. Following the deaths of those archaeologists as mandated by Clause 2 of the Research Safety Act, the theory was not explored further. Alright, let's ask mm. something else. What information do you require? When did the scribe reach the stars? About 10,000 years ago, on 1319 ME of the modern calendar, the scribe discovered the secrets of hyperspace. They expanded rapidly, taking with them the light of civilization. They encountered many primitive alien species during this era and elevated them, teaching the beasts the nature of reason. Hmm. It was these simple beasts who became the first ward species of the Empire. 
Let's describe Hemwald. Scrivenorsi lies far beyond the borders of this province. It is glorious, a beacon of luminousness which shines across the galaxy. You will be permitted to go nowhere near it. I will kill everything in my way. What information do you require? Current rebellion. There is no rebellion. Yes, there is. There clearly is a rebellion. There is no rebellion. That is a mistake. <laughs> there is no rebellion. There is no rebellion. That is a mistake. There is no rebellion. There is no rebellion. That is a mis- What information do you require? Why is the Empire hostile to us? In 13098, and while evaluating a new candidate for award species, the primitive aliens lashed out at the scribe, resulting in young aliens do not comprehend the gravity of the crime. Mm. We will explain. Through their mastery of genetic technology, the scribe have an almost unlimited natural lifespan. This great achievement gained long ago would eventually remove the need for reproduction and ultimately the ability. Consequently, the death of a scribe is a tragedy beyond imagination. I'd kill lots of scribes, the uh... aliens were obliterated, their homeworld turned to a pile of rubble loosely held together by gravity. And the act of youthful aggression was passed. This stopped the cycle of new ward species being added to the Empire. Mm. Since then, all unknown species are to be considered... The scribe must use other aliens to... Hence, the scribe and all ward species are required to attack you and ignore all mewling and slash or begging. Aliens Approximately in 20 most exist below technological level T4 and as such are largely beneath the interests of the Empire. But we have extensive records on all advanced species currently living as wards of the Empire. Who do you wish to know about? Taiwan. Sentient species level A8. First contact with Scribe 12523ME. Generally intelligent monopods. All auditors make special mention of stickiness slash designated stickiness researchers in 12570 ME. Repeatedly instructed to conduct research without scribe input. Standard genetic modifications commenced and are one still on board. Which ones? One of the others. Which ones? I don't know about the famished. Sentient species level A9. First contact with Scribe 12862 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 12862 ME. Highly intelligent, sophisticated culture which includes a significant amount of ritualized cannibalism. Since receiving the gift of light from the Scribe, the famished have ended this barbarous practice. The native famished artistic style was especially admired by the Scribe during the 12860s and became quite trendy throughout Scribe space, now seen as somewhat dated. Right. Molings. Sentient species level A4. First contact with Scribe 13083 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 13083 ME. In 13085 ME, a scribe legate blessed several Maulings with the opportunity to travel to scribe no seat to begin the process of civilizing them. These Maulings were greeted warmly by the scribe populace. Many events and galas were held, during which members of the elite commented on the Maulings' clothes and patted them on the head. None of the Maulings survived this experience. The remainder of the population are currently earmarked for roles as organ donors. Standard genetic modifications to commence in near future. I feel sorry for the poor little sod. One of the others. Which ones? Trandall. Sentient species level A8 with L10 Rider. First contact with Scribe 12891 ME. Subsumed into Scribe Empire 12893 ME. Reluctantly, then. L10 Rider is a semi-unique case. 
Artificial intelligence, low malevolence, but high urge to spread, refers to itself as overmind. Controls minds, or at least actions, of the entire race. Historical surveys have shown the race used to be known as the Trandals prior to overmind envelopment. What information do you require? Right. Approximate most of what we have skip through a little bit. you wish to know about. Which I'm sure there's another one out there. Mink Mac. Sentient species level A7. First contact with Scrive 12645 ME. Subsumed into Scrive Empire 12652 ME. Mink Mac culture is based on betrayal. During first contact, the Mink Mac stole a vessel from measured auditors. The normal penalty for this, species deletion, was waived in this case when the ruling legate found the Mink Mac amusing. Designated jester slash clan, standard genetic modification yeah, commenced been in 1265. So one which ones? One of the others. Which ones? One of the others. Uh, which ones? What information do you think you that's need anything about else? Everything else. This is not the please fill out form L. Right. Okay. Let's see. Objectives. We've tried to get stuff from the me measured. Um, we could go for the Grigox around the ancient one. to find the sentient bioweapons. I have a feeling they're probably down there somewhere because everywhere else seems to be pretty full. Uh, so, where is the Grigrox homeworld? Pi 3 Orionis. That's an autopilot down there. Well, we've not really learned a particularly large amount from these guys, apart from the fact that they are an absolute pain in the neck. I wonder if uh, there's anything that we can learn from Supply these guys. Supply dialogue objective statement with supplemental information exchange authorization form following process V38. Uh, of course, and by design, we do not branch offices like these lead to bureaucratic inefficiencies, which we have right. done. This is a branch office of the measured D3 Spec Auxiliary Record Keeping Division. We do here. We are administrative officers in the Empire of the Scribe. We accumulate records here. That is all. This is not the correct process, for either head office will be notified of you. Go to Pi 3 Orionis. There's not much more we can find out about the universe from these guys. I mean, I don't really particularly like the measure much. Sod it, you're going down. Right. Goodbye, bureaucrat. We don't want to be here. Right. Let's go to High Three Orionis. Yeah, the Greek rocks seem to be spreading quite rapidly throughout the galaxy. Uh, we'll find out whether or not they've got anything interesting to say. There's always, there's always new stuff to pick up from people, so it's always an uh, exciting adventure. Right. So we're going to 
avoid talking to anyone apart from their main thing and we'll save the game at that point. We also have to check back on their um, this other race's space so we'll find out what we can do. Okay, I'll catch you next time.